Okay, one, one of my one of my favorite topics is repression, resistance, suppression. Why is it a favorite topic? Well, actually, it's a depressing topic. But it's a very good topic to talk about because once you overcome the depression, then it's amazing. We have a tendency to resist the very things we need to be working on in ourselves, And it could be emotional, physical, or spiritual. And resistance means we tend to run away from things which we perceive to be difficult. Fear is just a perception that something's going to be painful or uncomfortable. So we tend to resist and run away from anything we perceive that's going to be painful or uncomfortable. But the reality, whether we like it or not, is that what we resist is usually the very thing that we need to be facing and working on. And I, I've spoken before how on a spirit, well, for example, emotionally we've got so much stuff going on and sometimes we just don't want to deal with it, we suppress it, we push it down and we pretend that everything is okay, it doesn't exist. And I think we also do that spiritually, that because we're spiritual beings, if we don't face our spiritual selves, our spiritual reality, if we don't, don't deal with our divine connection and pretend that everything's okay or there is no such thing as divine connection or we make up our own concepts of spirituality that suit us without confronting traditional teachings, gurus, wise men, sacred literature. It's a kind of um, suppression of a reality that we need to be facing. It's a kind of resistance out of fear that there might be a truth that's going to be uncomfortable. Or we talk about surrender. In spiritual circles we talk about surrender. Surrender the ego. I don't want to surrender my ego. Surrender your pride. I don't want to. Become humble. I don't want to. So we reject these things because we perceive them as uncomfortable. We have so many illusions about how surrendering these things would make us unhappy. Or we may even develop philosophies such as it's not even necessary or you, you create your own path and you don't have to deal with any kind of absolute ultimate truth. I see these things as all resistances of things that we are afraid to deal with. And when we confront the reality that we're afraid to deal with them, then when we face them, we can actually make progress. So the point is, anything that you strongly resist should be a red flag, that that's actually something I'm running away from that's very important for me to face. It's very important for me to deal with. And if you look at your life, you're going to see so many things that you resist, that you shouldn't be resisting, that you need to confront, you need to deal with. And your life will be better. And the ultimate thing we need to confront is our relationship with God. We can't pretend it doesn't exist. And ultimately, where we go after death, or what the future, what, what happens after this body is finished. We need to face these realities. And so many of us resist dealing with it. Talk, don't talk about it. It's depressing. I don't want to talk about this. Talk about what we're going to do this weekend. No. Okay, we can talk about what we're going to do this weekend, but we can't avoid realities of our existence. We can't run away from them. But the more you face them, the more you deal with them. The more you get answers to solve them, the happier you become, the better off you become. So it's an important message. Be aware of what you resist because that's a sign of where you need to work. Thank you for listening. Consider it. Think about it. Let me know what you think.